Hey there, I'm back. <laughs> I'm still working on this uh, this uh, lucky bastard. Uh, it says it's a kind of a combination. I'm going to paraphrase here uh, of of their their uh, arrogant bastard, uh, the oaked arrogant, and the double bastard. And you certainly can't taste all three going on here. Um, uh, it's, it's got a beautiful oaky finish. I like it a lot. Uh, I, I do like Stone. I, I'm a fan. I know that I've, uh, I've got a couple of beer friends on some sites that, that don't like them for one reason or another, but I'm a fan. Um, their standard line doesn't knock my socks off, to be honest. Their, their regular pail, their regular IPA uh, doesn't blow my socks off. But all the special stuff they do does. I love the Arrogant Bastard. The Double Bastard's even better. This thing is amazing. Um, the Oak Bastard is great. Uh, Stone Sublimely So Right is one of the best beers out there uh, in, in any style. It's certainly one of the very best black IPAs, but I mean, it, it should be in everybody's top 10 list for beers, period, because it's just a phenomenal beer. But yeah, it, again, it just because of the, uh, it, it's their big step that I tend to like the most, and not the regular step. The regular pail doesn't do a thing for me. There's other pails I like to buy uh, for less money, to be honest, but their big step is just killer. And I thought this was a appropriate beer for my mood today. I'm very tired, but but I'm very excited that I am a am a grandpa. Um, <laughs> my uh, my family probably would have never thought I was gonna you know <laughs> make it to be old enough to be a grandpa. <laughs> I had a bit of a wild you, you know. I wasn't always the fine, upstanding human being you see before you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do love the aroma on this thing. I tell you what, uh, Gus is not feeding Ben right now, or I, I show him again. Well, well, we'll, we'll talk to him later. I'll, I'll interview Ben at some point. We'll, we'll call him the Milk Whisperer. <laughs> the Beer Whisperer and the Milk Whisperer. We'll do a show together. <laughs> uh, I'm only about halfway through this beer, and uh, I'm getting a little giddy. Probably some of that's just because I'm I'm just flat exhausted. Uh, I hate to complain because I've had more sleep than my wife, but I, I seem to require just a little bit more than she does. Because I know she's exhausted too. And I'm beat. Uh, I heard from a old friend earlier today that wants to play some poker tonight, so I'm going to play some cards I haven't been able to play, and uh, well, the last time I played cards was the weekend before Seamus was diagnosed uh, with leukemia, so it's been, uh, I don't know what, about 10 months, so, so I'm excited about getting to play cards tonight. Look. Excuse me. Uh. Uh, lucky bastard burp. So I'll finish this class with you. I'm going to have a little more, but we don't need to talk for 20 minutes here. So I'm going to get out of here and I'll keep you posted. Okay.